So we're gonna go ahead and find the bicipital groove. So I'm gonna just bar your arm. And we're gonna palpate the front of the shoulder. Okay, the right one, right Yeah. So you just go ahead and relax. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we're pretty close, somewhere right in there. Is that accurate? Yeah. All right, so uh, go ahead and relax your arm. Great. Uh, so it's going to be our marker. Okay, we're doing this bilateral. Okay, and this one, we had the nice freckle that I recall from mm -hmm. last time that kind of like denoted the spot, which is like right there. Great. Okay, we're going to prep the area. Sometimes it's better to rub it down with alcohol first because sometimes it will take off the marker. But we still have a, a guide there. Come over to the other side. Same thing, rubbing around. You can still kind of see uh, where we left the mark. Okay, so tissue is prepped. And then we are going to come over here because we got two shoulders. We need two patches. I'm only going to demonstrate one, but it would be the same exact steps for the subsequent one. Okay, so here's a little card that denotes um, the LED flashing sequence as well as the dosage timer. Uh, so you can orient yourself to that one. But uh, for all intents and purposes for the video, um, not necessarily important at this moment. So we want to first ensure that our patch is going to be working for us. So we have this little pull tab, pull it out, flip it over, and our, our light should be blinking green, which it is. So we're in, we're in good start. Okay, then you have this adhesive that's easier to pull off prior to the medication being administered to the pad. Put that there. Okay. You have two additional little tabbies. We'll leave that one on because it'll be helpful in a moment. All right, then we're going to flip our bottle over and we're going to pull it down to where it says two milliliters. Just like that. And then without overflowing the pad, we're going to start in the middle and gradually add some drops. And I usually go in a concentric fashion so that it has even distribution throughout the pad. So the pad will last, or the patch will last up to four hours. And when you put the patch on, you don't want to compress the pad. You want to compress the adhesive because otherwise it will, you know, just like a sponge, if you squeeze a sponge, all the liquid will flow out of it. But you want it to be uniform and comprehensive in getting the entire pad. There we go. And I don't have any left. Okay. So then when you're putting it on, our epicenter of discomfort or pain, in this case, it's the proximal biceps tendon. And then this is going to be, be going lower down the arm. Okay. It can be quite sticky with gloves. So the key is to keep that last little bit of adhesive covered. So we're going to come in like this. Make sure that our pad is directly over said marker. We're going to come around the pad without actually pushing on it so that we're not leaching out all the medication. And then I'm going to have you just open up your arm just a little bit. Perfect. Yep. There we go. Okay, and so it's creating an electrical current that will otherwise cause the medication to be administered to the superficial tissue of the biceps tendon. And then we just take off our little tabby, just like this. Okay, so once the medication begins, it'll, the green light will be blinking every 30 seconds and it will do so for the next four hours. And the little card tells us that. Um, so three flashes per 10 seconds, uh, the transition to the second dosage period 
right? So there may be, it may take a moment before it actually falls into the cycle. Um, but this one's looking good, and that's how you administer it. We replicate the same thing for the opposing shoulder.